So the day has finally come after about four years of cooking with many, many different Instant Pots. I finally had one completely die on me. I was making broth this morning. I got my pot filled up with the bones and water. I didn't even have any veggies in there. It was just salt, water, apple cider vinegar, and bones. And uh, the water was up to the max line. And I started it up and it sat for like 30 to 45 minutes just flashing on the preheat, uh, like the first bar of the preheat section here. And after about 40 minutes or so, uh, the C7 popped up and it beeps for a long time. And so of course, anything, anything with a C, any notification with a C that comes up is going to be not great news. There are some things that are better than others. It doesn't necessarily mean the pot is completely dead. Um, so I pulled out my handy dandy, uh, troubleshooting, you know, guide. And on here, you can see for C7 or no pressure, there are three different options and a couple of them are really great. You know, just add some more water and then everything will be fine or make sure that the quick release is on the vent position. Uh, but the other one is the heat element has failed. And after investigating, it was very clear that it wasn't because of the liquid because it was full of water for broth. And then the quick release was not in the vent position. And when I opened up the pot and put my hand in, the water was just barely warm. It was, I mean, maybe maybe body temperature. So I went ahead and emptied out my pot and um, cleaned the pot and dried it and put it back in and turned on the saute mode. And uh, I let it sit like preheating for about 15 minutes. Again, it just flashed on the very first preheating bar here for like that 15 minutes. And then I came over and stuck my hand in and like I could put my hand all the way on the bottom of the pot. And again, it was just barely warm, but not even close to burning me. It was just slightly warm. So I think it's pretty clear that my pot is no longer and it has to do with the heating element. I went ahead and put in some more water and tried it just one more time just to make sure you can see it's on pressure cook right now. And I let it sit and I actually timed it um, this time and it took exactly 40 minutes before it just set on, had it flashing here in the first bar. And then after exactly 40 minutes, it went to C7 and I opened up the lid and you can see there's a little bit of condensation on the top. Like it's a little bit warm, but the water down here isn't even close isn't even close to hot. It's just, you know, slightly lukewarm. So I am just about to contact Instant Pot customer service. I'm going to open a ticket. That's what they call it on the website. And they say to send in um, like a picture of the little silver thing on the back here and like picture of your receipt and all that. Um, so I'm going to get that put in today and we will see how long it takes to respond. I've, I've never had an Instant Pot die on me. I've never had to contact customer service uh, for any reason about my Instant Pots. So this will be a new experience for me. But from everything I hear, they have incredible customer service. So that's what I'm banking on. And hopefully um, they're going to replace my pot. So just as a little bit of background, this is the Duo Evo Plus 8 quart Instant Pot. And I ordered it um, last October. So October, uh, well, it didn't come until November because it was like a pre-order. So I've had it for November, December, January, and most of February. So only about four months. So it's pr a pretty new pot. And I did have one other odd thing happen with this pot, probably within the first few weeks that I had it. Um, I was cooking something. I don't even remember what it was. It was on saute mode. I was just sauteing something up and all of a sudden a C8 uh, error code came onto the pot. And of course I'm like freaking out at that point. And I go to look at my manual and I find the C8, um, code and it says wrong inner pot in cooker base. And so they're saying, don't use one of the old style inner pots in the duo Evo plus. But the thing was, is that I didn't, I had this inner pot in there and it, for whatever reason, thought that this was the wrong pot. But at that point, I just was able to unplug it, like turn it off, unplug it. And then when I plugged it back in, it was fine. And I never had that problem again. 
So um, that was the only other weird thing. Besides that, this Instant Pot has been great, and I've really, really loved cooking with this one. Um, you guys have seen on lots of my videos, I use it all the time, and especially especially because of the handles. It's absolutely one of my favorite Instant Pots for that reason, but um, it's pretty sad that it didn't last very long. So anyways, I will contact uh, Instant Pot customer service, see what they say, and I'll definitely keep you guys updated on how this goes. One more real quick thing that I just remembered that I wanted to mention is um, you guys know that I have a Mealthy Crisp lid and I also have a Instant Pot air fryer lid and I wanted to say that I have not used either of those items on this pot at all. If you watched my um, air fryer lid, I think my air fryer lid unboxing, I mentioned on there that I don't use them, either of them, on my newer pots that I want to keep the warranty active on. I only have used the Mealthy Crisp Lid on my six quart duo that's a little bit older that I'm not super worried about if um, something were to go wrong with it. So just for anyone that might have thought that, that maybe using a uh, air fryer lid on a pot might mess with the heat sensor or the heat element or whatever, um, that is not going to come into play here because I have never used either of those on this pot.